Hey, and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to use LM Studio, which will allow you to use any open source LLM locally. This means it'll cost you nothing to run a workflow. We'll go over LM Studio and then how to integrate it into an agent workflow instead of using the open AI's API. What we're going to do is download LM Studio, choose a model that we want to load into LM Studio, start the local server, and then we're going to create the agents and run the task. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to lmstudio.ai and then once you're here, download LM Studio for your machine. And then once you've done that, just run it. And then this is the home page that you'll be greeted with. Now what we need to do is download a model. You can choose any model that you want to download. I've already downloaded ones that are small that my computer can handle, but you're the more than welcome to either scroll down on the home page. So here, Quen 1.5, I don't have it downloaded yet. So if I wanted to, I just click this download button, opens up a bar at the bottom. I can open it up and then you can see that starting the download. You can scroll down and choose any of these or at the top in the middle here is a search bar. You can search for something like Mistral. You click enter and then on another page, it'll show all the results on Hugging Face for Mistral models. On the left-hand side, you can also go to AI chat and then you can simply play with your model. You can at the top here, select a model to load, load it up. Then once it's loaded, you can just start chatting with it down here. So what we need to do is on the left hand side, there's this double arrow here. This is for local server. So click that. And now what you can do at the top again is the same select the model to load. Click this and choose a model that you want to use. I'm just going to use the Phi 2 model because it's small for my machine. So I'm going to click this. It's going to start the load process. And whenever that's done, the start server right here, this button will light up green. All you need to do is just click start server. And that's it. Now we can use this model in our agent workflow. The one thing we'll need here is this URL. This base URL is what we'll use in the config list in order to connect from the assistant agents to call this LLM. Now let's go do some coding. How we're gonna do that is we first need to create a main Python file and then an OpenAI config list. And if you haven't already, go ahead and create the OAI config list.json file and then all we need here really is the base URL. You do need the API key property, but you can literally put anything here because we're not using a key. And also for the model, it doesn't matter. You can exclude this, or if you feel better having it, just put whatever you want here, it doesn't matter. And now for the main Python file, what we need to do is import Autogen. And if you haven't done so already, we need to install the library. Open up your terminal and just simply type in pip install pi Autogen. And once you're done with that, we have a pretty simple workflow going on here. So we have a main function that we're going to end up calling, and we have a config list that calls autogen.configList from JSON, which takes in that JSON config list file we created earlier. And that'll give us the model and the API key, and also now the base URL. And now we have our assistant agent with the LLM config only passing in the config list property. And then we have the user proxy agent and the code execution config. We have the work directory to coding. So there's any code that is executed, it will be stored there. And we say use Docker equals false. You can also set this to true if you have Docker installed and you're running. And then we simply initiate the chat to have it generate a function for us. So all we need to do now is just run this. And now when we run this, we see we're going to talk to the assistant, have it generate a function for us. If we go back to LM Studio, we can see that it's already started and it's going to generate a function that acts like an eight ball with random phrases for us. And it's already starting to accumulate the tokens. Now, once it's done here, it's going to send this back to our IDE. Okay, now in LM Studio, it finished. Okay, so it's going to send this now back to the user agent as the response. And the assistant gave us something back user assistant to user proxy, it generated a function for us, kind of like a magic eight ball, where it just returns a random phrase. And then you could continue the conversation here or just hit exit and be done. But this is how you connect LM Studio, which you can download any hugging face open source model to use with your agent workflow. I hope it makes a little more sense now how we can simply swap out using a model and API key, which you would use when you would talk to GPT-4 or 3.5 Turbo. And now you can use a local open source LLM with LM Studio. Now there are other libraries or other pieces of software that you can use that also download models and they can be performed in the same exact way, except you'll have different URLs. Now, one thing I want to add here is if something isn't working, and especially if you're using function calling, don't worry, you won't be the only 
one where that isn't working because right now function calling seems to only work with the open AI's API and not necessarily with any local open source LLM. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm trying to create a video for every day of this month. Lots of information to share with all of you. Just like subscribe to help me out. Here's some more videos on Autogen and AI. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.